Hey guys, so let's do a visual explainer of what the hub silo actually is. And you can see that we've got the homepage um, where most people will put either a blog or a landing page here. And what we do then is we have um, posts within specific categories, okay? Now, inside each category, you will have at least one cornerstone article or as I call it, a money page, okay? so. This can be your most important content and you will have three support articles for each money page. Okay, so imagine this is an affiliate website, for example, and you've got a category here for webinar um, products. Okay, and here you do a comparison review post. Okay, so that's your money page. And here you would do some support articles, for example, talking about three different um, webinar softwares that are linking into the money page. Okay, now the money page is not linking out to anything internally. So it's not linking out to the support articles. It's not linking out to the hub page. Now the hub pages, these are pages that have all the posts from that specific category. And how we do that is we do a redirect from the category page to a hub page. Okay, so the category page becomes a hub page okay now this gives us the ability that we can use that for more than just um, posting the links of that category in the page but we can also use it to um, put some call to action on there for like a content upgrade for opt into an email list or something like that okay so that's the only real tweak that we have added into the reverse silo because it's all good doing SEO tactics and stuff like that. But every piece of content really needs to have a purpose. And the best purpose that we can have in marketing is building an audience and monetizing it. That's why we get into internet marketing. Okay, so the SEO tactics can help us to get there. But every page really should have a call to action on it. Okay, so that's it in, in the simplest form. Okay, so the categories are redirected to the hub page. Okay, that's already set up in the template. You don't have to do anything there. All you have to do is put your content onto the pages that I've already created. So I've created altogether four hub pages. Okay, and all you're gonna do is you are gonna choose your categories and set them up before you start adding content. So you will have four categories. You can add as many as you like. You can delete some categories if you want to, entirely up to you, okay? And when you have your categories, then you're gonna rename the hub page. Okay, I've called it hub page one and hub page two, for example. And what you're gonna do is re rename that to whatever the category name is, okay? Now, I've already done the permalinks and the permalinks include the category in the URL string okay that's already been done it's already been 301 redirected into the hub page okay now what you will do then is you will identify your money pages okay so again if this was an affiliate marketing site about um, webinar software I would have something in here like a review post or a comparison post with different webinar softwares okay and what you can do then is identify them and name them okay now what you want to do then is you want to get your content created and once you have your content created for that then go and create the three support articles and link these articles to the money page you've got to link these three articles to the money page ma uh, manually i can't do that for you okay you need to do that yourself the reason i can't do it for you is because it's best to do it with some anchor text that makes sense for that money page okay so if this is um, webinar software comparison I'm going to name my internal links with an anchor text that says something like webinar software comparison okay and I will do different variations of that for each post okay you need to do that part, that part yourself it's important that you get the anchor text um, relevant for when you're doing that internal linking okay so that's it in a nutshell it's very very easy now I've created the template so that you've got the category already redirected to four hub pages okay so these are going to be like four category pages okay I have put an opt-in um, embedded opt-in call to action 
on each of these hub pages as well. You can simply go in to the hustle um, plugin and change that out. Okay, you can either change the words that I've put in mine and change the links, or you can create a new one and just put the short code into the relevant hub page. Okay, and for the money pages, you will see that we've got um, money page one, money page two, money page three, money page four for each of these um, categories. Okay, so I've got hub page one and hub page two, and you will see there's a page already being created. It's called money page one for hub page one, something like that. I can't remember my exact wording for that. And then for the support articles, well, I've already created um, f uh, three of these for every money page. And it will just say support article one, support article two, support article three. And it will also reference the correct money page that you're going to be linking to. So all you're going to do is you're going to put more content in there. You're going to change the title, change the URL string. Okay. And you're going to put your content on there and you're going to add your anchor text link to your money page. That makes sense for the content on your money page. Okay. So that's it in a nutshell. It's very, very simple. All you have to do is to create the content. Now that might seem like you've got a lot of work to do to begin with. What you can do even temporarily is go and use an AI writer. Chat GPT for me is still the best AI writer. It's better than um, most of those out there. It's good enough for what you want to do here. And what you can do then is you can just put some um, temporary content on there. Okay. So I'll do a separate video on how we do that. I'm going to do a full demo completing a full site and you will see how I do it and you can watch that demo. Now that demo is going to be webinar length. So be prepared to, you, you know, get a cup of coffee and expect to be there for about 30 minutes at least um, when I do that. But when you see that being done, then, then it will make sense. Okay, so I tried to do this video previously without the um, the visuals here and it was just very, very confusing for me to even understand. But, but with the visuals, I hope um, this has been explanatory enough. And what's actually happening here is that your money page is getting most of the link just because the hub page is linking into here, the home page is linking to the hub pages and the support articles are linking to the money page as well. But the money page is not linking out anywhere else. Now you can choose if you want to, to put a sidebar on and put some specific featured posts if you want to in your blog posts for these. Now I removed the blog post sidebars okay the less links you've got on those blog pages the better okay otherwise the link just gets shared all over your site you just want to minimize that okay you don't want too many internal or out, outbound links on these blog posts okay whether it's a money page whether it's a hub page or whether it's support articles minimize by removing any links for sidebars okay it's just going to dilute the link just and what we can do then is we can focus on very, very good content in the money pages. Now, even if you were to create this with ChatGPT, just temporarily with um, some content, it it's gonna be good quality content, okay? It's probably good enough for your support articles just to keep it as it is. You might want to expand on it if you've got a better way to do this. Maybe you want to use like phrase um, to take the GPT content and expand on it and make it even more optimized. Um, you might want to use some other tools. There's a whole bunch of AI writing tools um, that you can use, but start with the chat GPT just to get the quick content as I'm going to show you in the demo. And that way you can probably leave that content as it is. Just make sure that your anchor text is relevant to your money page. It's really, really important. Okay. And also you want to go and change the opt-in form or the call to action on on your hub page now i've put that same call to action on every single page and post okay so that for me just makes sense because as long as it doesn't look um intrusive on on the actual content then it's making sure that people get multiple sightings of your call to action every web page has got a call to action okay even if it's the same one but you can go and change it out by category you can change it out by individual pages if you want if you're using the hustle plugin which i have set up within the wordpress alpha template for all of the all of the wordpress alpha templates have got the hustle um 
plugin in there. It's very, very easy to use. That's why I chose that one. Okay, so that's it in an, in an explainer. Um, watch the demo video. It will make a lot more sense. Thanks.